Bob, what do you what do you think about this whole credit c- credit channel? Because yes, fiscal uh, higher interest rates are stimulative to people who are have money at a, a money market account. But presumably, if you you know think it's late cycle, you think so because of the rise of interest rates and the lag. You know, we're we're, we're finally there. You know, people have been talking about an inverted curve since the spring of 2022. It's been a long time, um, and that's you know, presumably I presume why you think it's a uh, late cycle. We we've seen credit meaningfully slowed actually last year. Like uh, a lot of people, certainly in the banking system, a lot of people are were really focused on SVB. Like essentially nothing happened before and after SVB. Like all the credit slowing happened last year. Um, you know, we went from banks in 2022 extending credit at a very rapid pace to basically zero um by by early 2023 and that's reflect that's a typical macroeconomic dynamic that occurs uh when you get a tightening just in the same way we saw the bond market slow bond market issuance slow which is another credit market dynamic um but you know as as mike points out there's there's um there's still the sort of uh reasonable amount of liquidity in the system and combined with um with uh a set of financial asset infrastructures that don't force mark to market uh, are creating what, you know, what has been a bit of a boom in the private credit space um, that is sort of continuing the cycle, uh, you know, on the margin and, and maybe not even really continuing the economic cycle so much as holding up asset prices, particularly in illiquid securities. But for those folks who have been around a little while, and have seen this dynamic play out, which is, you know, lending the incremental, the last, lending the last dollar to the soon to be bankrupt entity. We know how this ends, which is, you know, you, you have good marks for a few months or a few years, and then you lose your shirt on. Um, and that's probably what we're likely to see. And that I think, uh, interestingly, um, the fact that we haven't seen a real credit cycle in the private credit markets is, I think, exacerbating the capital that's flowing into those places, and will uh, will mean that there's much, many more, much more significant losses uh, in the future as a result. Rather than if people really had a good fundamental understanding of what credit cycles work, I, I talked to some private credit folks um, who will with. I believe a straight face tell me that private credit is an uncorrelated asset to the equity market. And that is crazy. 